Hey everyone, I am in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and I'm in Nockamixon State Park, and I'm gonna hike something that's called the Top Rocks Trail. So I've hiked a lot of trails in Nockamixon State Park, but I don't believe I've ever been on this before. We got a low flying airplane. Pretty cool. Definitely not something I would want to trail run, but I kind of like these technical trails with a lot of rocks. I believe we go maybe about a half a mile from what I was reading online, and then it kind of turns into um, all rock actually boulders and I think there's some climbing involved so I was trying to read the map there was a little uh, I guess one of those trailhead boards when I came in but the map didn't really make a lot of sense and from what I've read online it's actually kind of hard to follow the trail so so far I don't see any blazes on the trees um, that's not good because I'm hiking by myself <laughs> and I am not the best as far as having a sense of direction. So I think what I'm going to do right now is stop for a second and I'm going to use my navigation watch, at least put this location in so I can find my way back. Um, still looking for some blazes. I'm not even 100% sure this is <laughs> the Top Rocks Trail. But um, from what I saw on the trailhead board, it looks like it has a couple different loops. So you can probably get lost fairly easily. I think if I get confused, I'm just going to backtrack and just go straight down. Just kind of avoid loops. I believe this is state game land, so you're probably supposed to be wearing orange. Which, as you can see, I am not wearing orange. <laughs> but I don't think it's hunting season, so... I don't think there's anything to worry about. This is all uphill. But what goes up must come down, so... If I backtrack, it'll be all downhill. If it's a loop, you would think it's going to be downhill as well. So far, so good. I mean, you can't get lost on this trail because it's all been straight. But I think it's got some rock climbing involved. And I think when I get to that point, if, of course, I'm on the right trail, I'm just going to climb up, get to the top, and start working my way down. So I would assume the trail goes this way. But again, I haven't seen any blazes. What I was reading online, supposedly it's blue blazes. And they're on the rocks. So here's some cool boulders. Okay, so here I am on the top of some pretty cool rocks. I don't know, I always think of this as like an adult playground. I guess you gotta be careful. You could twist an ankle or break a leg really easily. All right, I'm gonna get back on what I believe is the trail and keep working my way up. Okay, so there. I would think that's a blue blaze. So that's what I read online, follow the blue blazes, but... Somebody should probably come out here and put another coat of paint on those blazes. I'm also wearing this tank top, which probably isn't the smartest thing because there's tons of bugs down here. So as soon as I'm done my hike, check myself for ticks and take a shower. So this is a cool rock. 
anyone who's ever hiked the Appalachian Trail knows that Pennsylvania is full of rocks. In fact, it's usually nicknamed Rocksylvania. This is nowhere near the Appalachian Trail, but we definitely have lots of rocks here. Oh, I don't really see. You know what? To me, that looks like a Band-Aid. <laughs> I don't know if that's some type of a sticker, but it's that same color blue. So, just have a rock formation here, which I'm gonna climb up. You know what? I just thought about this too, and I hear all these planes flying over. Now, I know I'm safe here, I believe, <laughs> but there's a very dangerous escaped prisoner in Chester County who's hiding out in the woods there, and they've been looking for him for six days. So I'm just hoping <laughs> these woods don't connect in some way. So I see a blue arrow on that tree. The camera's probably not picking it up, but it's pointing this way, the way down. So I would think the trail is probably on that side going up as well. You would think. <laughs> Should have brought you along to be my navigator. If there's anyone out there who has a good sense of direction, <laughs> we'll have to go hiking sometime. <laughs> I could use your help. That just doesn't look like a trail at all. I'm gonna climb up the other way. I really do wish I had water with me now. And I want to be careful. I don't want to injure myself. I mean, I never want to injure myself, but like, if I twisted an ankle here, I'm fairly certain I'd make it out of here okay on my own, but it would take a long time. So I don't know. What do you think, people? Where's this thing going? I don't see a trail. So whoever that was online, that said they got lost and it wasn't marked very well. You, my friend, <laughs> gave proper warning because it is not marked well at all. I don't even know if I'm on a trail. Whew, I'm kind of thinking about just keep going up and take the least resistance the path of least resistance I should be okay all right so I feel like I'm on a trail again something is definitely moving over there Baby, I keep going up. I said I wanted a workout. And like I said, I like this climbing these rocks. Probably be more enjoyable if it were a little warmer. Not warmer, what the hell am I talking about? If it were a little cooler. We're in early September. And we're kind of going through a little heat wave here in PA. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling, feeling this is getting a little nuts. All right, I am going to turn the camera off, climb over these rocks and try to find some sort of a trail again. <laughs> so this is actually a very <laughs> challenging trail. Just a little sort of caves, right? There's shelters in there. I don't know if that's picking it up, but kind of like a little shelter or a little cave. All right, so I'm kind of stuck here. I think I'm going to have to leap across to that one. So I found a way off those rocks, and I'm thinking this might be the trail, but I don't know. 
I may not even be on the big, whatever it's called, the Top Rocks Trail. Because this is horrible. It's like the worst marked trail in the history of <laughs> Gen Hikes. Ah, uh, okay. Again, Jen, stay conscious of possible snakes. All right, let's see if we can go around here. Ooh. Okay, I see some graffiti, which I never like to see, but it tells me I'm probably on something of a trail. Okay, where are you? Whoa. <laughs> you don't like heights and you don't like bouldering, you don't want to come here. Whew. Yeah, that looks like it goes nowhere. This is the... It's actually kind of getting me angry. <laughs> oh, this is the worst marked trail ever. It's pretty cool, a little walkway through there. Do you see that? Wouldn't it be nice if there was a refreshment stand <laughs> at the top of this? Ooh. All right, so there's another one of them white things, which I'm guessing is the trail. Oh, there's a blue pointing down. So I must be near the trail. I'm not sure how much further I really want to go. Although I got to think going down is going to be a lot easier, right? Maybe not though. Maybe not. Mm. I could see how if this was hunting season, I should definitely have orange on. I'm wearing like all black. <laughs> black backpack, black top, white pants, but I should be dressed in orange. Whew. It's kind of a last, min last minute decision to come here today. I got up early and I was going to go to the gym and I was going to go for a run and I just got caught up working. Ooh. So then I felt kind of, oh, check this out. Check this cave out. Now, I see a lot of people on YouTube, they go right into these caves. I don't think I'm going to do that, but... Oh, you got some creepy stuff in there. Boogie for life. You got the cross. And I'm not sure what that means, the eye and the triangle, but I know I've seen it. Something Illuminati, maybe. So I definitely feel like I'm on a trail again. So that's good. It's not easy, but it's it's good. And one thing I like, a good hike always includes a little adventure. All right, so what do I do here? Jump to that rock? Or go up? I'm thinking I go this way. A path of least resistance. I don't really think it's a trail at all. I think it's just... <laughs> Kind of like a maze. Another one of those little caves. I guess if you were hiding out, oh my god, I don't want to think about that, but if you were hiding out, <laughs> you could probably find some spots here you could avoid helicopters or search planes or whatever. All right, so I feel like I'm so close to the top, but I'm thinking that is probably the top 
rock. So how the hell, how the heck do I get there? I think I go this way. If that's where I want to go. You know what, I made it this far. I have to get to the top. All right, I'm back. And I believe, I believe I am close to the top. Now, of course, I could go up through here and there'd be a whole other climb, but I kind of think I'm where I want to be. And that would be great because I'm pretty close to the top. I think this rock right in front of me. I think this is the one that we saw that I was pointing to, like, how do I get up there? But I'm not sure. All right, turning the camera off again. I'm gonna go up a little higher. <sighs> rock climbing is something I never did. But there's two things I feel if I was younger, I would have liked to have gotten into. <sighs> That I did not do. Rock climbing is one, and the other would be surfing. I just think the surfing looks so cool. If someone could teach me how to surf at this age, I'd still try that. I don't think I'd do dangerous rock climbs though. So it's really cool, and I do feel I'm out here by myself. Which always adds to the... What does it add to, Jen? <laughs> Serenity? Is that the word I'm looking for? Oh, okay, as I slide down this rock. I'm not sure how to get up to that big rock unless I go around that way. And do I really have to go up on that big rock? I think I need to try. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off because this is going to get a little tricky. Okay, so I just swapped my battery out because my battery was dying. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm sweating, <laughs> sweating like a pig. Um, I believe we are at the top. I believe that big rock up there is the end. So if you'll join me, we're going to make it to the end. And then I'm going to head down. And if I'm honest with you... I'm drained. <laughs> oh, I think it's the heat. Because like I said, it's like a 95 degree day. And this is strenuous. And I didn't bring water. I probably haven't drank anything <laughs> in the last like five hours. So I'm really looking forward to that water ice stand up here. <laughs> oh, I gotta keep your sense of humor. Oh my God, this is cool though. I think this rock is gonna look really cool when I get there. Oh yeah, look at it. Oh, baby. Flat rock, look at that. That is top rock. And you can see that rock on the top. Oh. So now, which way do I go to get up to the top? It would be nice if there was an easily marked trail on the way down. And I'll jump on my phone and look online, see if I can find a map, so I don't have to go down the same way I came. But that may not be good because it probably wouldn't get me anywhere near my car. That is Top Rock. Very, very cool. Believe me, we worked for this one, didn't we? Oof, you probably feel like you worked for it. <laughs> Maybe someone could message me on this. I really need a good camera like what I have, a GoPro, because I like to bounce around a lot. But it needs to be mic'd somehow. And like a lot of times when I go hiking, I'm with someone else. I know you've seen Tony in a lot of my videos, Debbie, and I plan on doing it with some other friends as well. 
And then all you hear is them mumbling in the background. <laughs> and sometimes, well, I'm not gonna say sometimes, usually, especially Tony, he's more knowledgeable than I am. Ooh. Oh my God. Look at that. Happy times. This is top rock. I did it. Whew. Oh my God, this is cool. Whew. Little graffiti up there. Yes, not a fan of that band, but my friend Friday would be kind of happy to see that. Actually, I'm not sure if that says yes. Maybe it does. Anyway, got some peace signs going. Whew. Got a little step over. And this is Top Rock. So I've officially made it to the top of Top Rock. So I'm gonna rest for a couple minutes, but I'm not gonna stay too long because I don't have any water. If I did, I'd sit up here and maybe for like 40 minutes or so, because it's, it's not that late yet. The sun's not gonna go down for another hour or so. Okay, <laughs> now for the way down. Wish me luck. All right, so I'm on the trail and I'm headed towards my car, which I believe is maybe 100 feet away. And I gotta tell you, coming down was not easy. It was hard. Um, getting off the rocks wasn't too hard. Um, I mean, it was certainly a little bit easier than going up, but getting back on the trail, you don't know where the trail is. And when I came off the rocks, I just kept going on rocks and I wound up way off trail. Thank God I did put this in my um, my Garmin navigation watch because I was lost. <laughs> and, and I know I read online, somebody else said that they got lost. Um, so if you do come here, make sure you have a navigation watch and make sure you're with somebody. I'm by myself. I didn't tell anybody where I was going. My phone's dying. <laughs> so uh, it's a mess. And I didn't bring any water and I'm thirsty. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a Wawa or a 7-Eleven or something and get a big ass Gatorade. Um, but yeah, I did make it back. So um, if you do decide to come here, just know that it's not easy. It is a pretty difficult, um, pretty difficult trail. <laughs> and also come with somebody or have a navigational watch because when you come back down, it's kind of hard to find the trail. So anyway, thank you for joining me and I'm gonna end the video here. And if you could um, give me a like and if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Um, check back and uh, I should have uh, a couple more videos soon. I'm trying to get like maybe like four up a month. So, all right. Thanks a lot and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.